keeping the rave alive. Hey, this is Adero, keeping the rave alive with Vatsky. Hey, this is Indian. 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 This is Billy Daniel Bum. This is Danny. This is Andy Whitby, and we're keeping the rave alive. Hi, this is Dilly Tech, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive with Kutsky. Hey guys, this is Dr. Rude. You're now listening to my boy Kutsky here at Keeping the Rave Alive. Drop the BS Bundam. What's up, Kutsky? Hey, it's DJ Yoda. Yoda, 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 Yoda. Are you gonna rip this motherfucker off? Marky G inside the house. This is DJ Kutsky. Be stronger than a hurricane. Yo, this is Silence, and you're listening to Keeping the Rave Alive. Combination style. Oh. Yes, welcome back to the Keeping the Rave Alive show with myself, Kutsky, here to bring you your weekly dose of the full spectrum of the harder styles of dance music. How are we doing? We all good? I've got a cool idea for a show this week. I'm pretty excited to share it with you. So I saw an argument going online about the difference between a remix, a bootleg, an edit, a flip, lots of different ways to describe what I would call taking somebody else's track and doing your own version of it. It was funny seeing people break it down going, well, a remix is technically an official thing that should be done. A bootleg is an unofficial version of it. Um, An edit is taking somebody else's track and rearranging it into your own way. And a flip is keeping the breakdown and changing. It doesn't matter any of this sort of stuff. It's like everyone has their own interpretation of what these things are. To be honest, I think it's more a reflection of how old you are. In the early 90s, everything was called a remix. And then in the late 90s, if it wasn't official, it was being called a bootleg. And then that sounded dated, so people called them edits. And now flip is the latest word. You'll see it on the track listing. Everything's a flip. But as pretentious as it is to get into the terminology, it's actually a really fun topic to investigate musically. So that's exactly what we're going to do on the show this week. We're going to take tracks that got flipped, remixed, and edited into harder styles of dance music versions. And what I think might be more fun as well is to play a bunch of tracks that were originally hardcore, hard style, hard dance tracks and got flipped into other styles of music like dubstep, house, trap. So we're going to make it a two-way street on the show this week. Before we get into the mix, as always, quick shout out to everyone supporting me on Patreon. I want to do it at the start of every show because I appreciate it so much. If you do enjoy this show, you would like to support me and help keep the rave alive. You can do so from as little as £2 a month and get a bunch of extra shows in your life. Patreon.com slash KTRA. The link is in the description. But right about now, we jump into the mix with bootlegs, mashups, flips and remixes here on Keeping the Rave Alive. Keeping the Rave Alive. Kutsky. We'll 
How many people recognize this one in the background? Now, of course, you know Randy Zombie. Did you know the Bass Jackers remix, which was an official remix? I was tempted to play the Gamma Flip, which started out unofficial and then got licensed and released. But when that Gamma remix came out, it also came out with this Bass Jackers remix, which is more on an EDM-y, housey vibe. So I thought it seems as most people probably wouldn't know that one. It'd be a fun one to include in the mix this week. As always, for full track listing on the show, keepingtheravealive.com. Let's get back into the music.
I'm the Grand Reaper when I'm blaring out your speaker. Chilling off the week, I welcome to the final feature. My head is in the clouds, you can say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm getting so far out and I'm getting to a screamer.
Yes, you're in tune to Kutsky, keeping the rave alive as we investigate the art of the remix, the edit, the flip, the remux, the VIP. That's another one, isn't it? So many different ways to describe ripping off somebody else's track, officially or unofficially. I'm playing, I'm playing. They're artistical reinterpretations. That shouldn't get me cancelled. Let's keep them coming. It's Kutsky in the mix. DJ Kutsky in the mix.
yeah, one, two, one, two. Yo, <laughs> This is what I love and can't stop loving. Get wasted at parties from nine till seven in the morning. I live for the music, rolling blunts, feeling high, getting loaded, or take some pills and go to La La Land. Spending all my money on dope and extreme high price tickets. But in the end, it's all worth it. I like to live in my own world. Fuck regular life, fuck a nine to five job. I'm told to enjoy every moment, every hour, every minute. That's what I do on Fridays and Saturdays. Why should I take life so seriously? I just want to do what I like to do. Be it far from reality, I can't stand society, it's my own world, I just want to hear the music. I think the whole system fucking sucks, everybody's working their fucking ass off during the week, getting totally fucking stressed out, so what's wrong and what's right? I live for the weekend, I live for hard styles, I live for hard style baby. Come on, let's go!
Show and face me
through the pain all night I had to ignite to the call Oh, claim your prize for a crown of stars In the name of love, be the sacrifice You and I will stand and fight Our backs to the wall drum and bass for you in the background now Mark Breeze with Be Alone that's the Michael Zenden remix a couple of years old now that one I always loved this one used to play it on the clubs always went off of course the original being a UK hardcore track from Breeze love this drum and bass mix though great work just a quick heads up as well something that's going to be popping up on the Keeping the Rave Alive store if you're interested we're going to be doing a limited edition Keeping the Rave Alive USB stick to celebrate the 100 releases on the Keeping the Rave Alive label. We're going to do 100 limited edition USBs with everything we've ever released on the Keeping the Rave Alive label. So that includes all 100 releases on the Keeping the Rave Alive label and also 14 albums that we've put out over the years. I know most people consume their music digitally these days, downloading it, but I also know that people do like collecting things as well. So I was toying with the ideas of, you know, CDs or what we could do, but it felt that, you know, the most value for money that you'd be able to get with that would be a USB stick and you can stick it in your car, you can keep it at home so you've got, you know, a backup of everything on there or you could just delete all the music off and use it as a cool USB stick if you really want it. I'm not encouraging you to do that. Just before I started recording the show this week, I put the order in. So they're being manufactured right about now. I'm going to put the store link up so taking pre-orders for that and they'll be shipped early February, probably like the first week of February they're going to be shipped out. So I'm not going to post it on the socials just yet because like I said, it's limited to 100 units. So just to give everybody that's a regular listener of the show the opportunity to pick them up first. So yeah, keepingtheravealive.com, punch the store button on there. If it's not online yet, it'll be up any minute now because I'm going to upload it to the store after I finish recording this show. So yeah, keepingtheravealive.com, go to the store and you can pick up the limited edition KTRA 100 USB stick.
super fun way to end the mix with Paradise See the Light. The original mix of this was like a Clubland track, that kind of like Eurodance 140 BPM sound. This is a Sign Unknown remix from 2007. It was released on Quash Records. Absolutely love it. Such an anthem, isn't it? I love it when anyone plays this in the club and the whole crowd are singing See the Light on the chorus. I see the light. Okay, it seems as we're representing the bootleg remix, flip, edit, whatever you want to call it on the show this week. It's time for the final vinyl, and I wanted to play a track by one of the most infamous bootleg series in the hardcore scene in the 90s. They were called Silk Cuts. They just came out as Silk Cuts 1 to, I think, 11, 12, before they stopped running it. Personally, I loved number 10. These were completely unofficial tracks, but they were awesome. I loved them. Just before we do let it run, as always, I want to give people a quick shout who have supported me with the tip system on the show, the virtual beers. If you head over to the website, beer.keepingtheravealive.com, the link's in the description. You can buy me a virtual beer as a tip if you appreciate these shows. Like I always say at the start, we don't have any corporate sponsorship or advertising or anything like that on the show. It's completely community supported by the Patreon and these virtual beers. The people who supported me this week, absolute legends. Shout out to Gunfingers, who bought me a beer and wants me to say Zarg. As in the Zarg kick drum. Z A A G. Because he loves it when non Dutch people try and say that word. I'm doing all right, Gunfingers. Do you think I'm doing all right? Give me a rating. Zarg. Zarg. I feel like I'm trying to clear my throat there. Any Dutch listeners can give me a rating on that one. Shout out to Lisa B as well, supporting me yet again. Thank you very much, Lisa. Been very generous recently. Also, shout out to Knowles, who set up a monthly beer subscription. So I do appreciate that one. Tim Roberts bought me a beer and says, thanks for the excellent work and thank you for sorting out the KTRA t-shirt, which Tim ordered. So yeah, uh, glad you received that. Okay, Tim. Thank you for the continued support. And lastly, a big shout out to Paul, who says, easy, mate. It's been a while since I last shouted you a big beer you're a total legend keep up the awesome work just bought the album and it's pure quality big love from dj pj so thank you very much for the big support there do appreciate that one paul once again the link is beer.keepingtheravealive.com i'm gonna stop waffling now and let you enjoy this unofficial classic and i'll catch you back on the show same time same place next week until then it's kutsky signing out keep the rave alive have a good weekend this is billy daniel bunter kutsky take him back to the old school She's taking time, making up the reasons To justify all the hurt inside Guess she knows from the smiles and the look in the eyes Everyone's got a fear about the bitter one They're saying, Mama never loved her much and Daddy never keeps in touch, that's why she shies away from human affection. But somewhere in a crowded place, she packs her bag far out of space. And now she's waiting for the right kind of pilot to come. She's saying...